Hi and welcome to my channel. Look, switching a UK student visa to a UK work visa is one of the most crucial activities that you can get to do if you're a student in the UK. I call this a life-saving activity. It's like, you know, you're on a plane, there's like a plane crash and you're trying to hang on your oxygen mask or something. That is exactly how it is. This is not something that if you're in the UK on a student visa, you don't want to be messing around. You don't want to be you know, you want to be really, really strategic. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the main things to consider if you're coming to the UK as a student or if you're currently in the UK on a student visa, looking to switch your visa to a work visa. The truth is that many people will study in the UK and go back home, you know, to whichever country they've come from to amazing opportunities. But reality is that 99% of us that come to study in the UK, we don't have that luxury to return to these amazing jobs back home which means again if you're watching my videos i hope that you're going to be applying for the right course and you're going to be avoiding all the hassle that comes with coming to the uk studying a course that has a 99 percent chance of not getting you any job whatsoever it is very painful i feel very angry about this because it keeps happening and people are paying school fees of over twenty thousand pounds per year for jobs that they already know that are not existent. Like, it does not make any sense. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate your time. And I hope that you're finding these videos helpful. I hope that it is impacting on your decision making, especially if you're still in that stage where you're thinking about what opportunities to pursue. I really do hope that you find these videos at that stage. But if you find them on a much later stage, say for example, you're already in the UK on a student visa and you're thinking, oh my God, Melvis, I wish I'd found you earlier. Look, you're still welcome. It's about salvaging the situation that's why we're here so if you haven't subscribed to this channel you want to hit the subscribe button right now so you're the first person to be notified every single day when i drop a new video on here at 10 a.m prompt uk time but there is something even more important that you can do i do have a free newsletter why I send information directly to your inbox about free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to this beautiful country or to switch your visa if you're already in the UK. If you check the comment section below, you're going to see a link to my newsletter. You drop your name and email and you're part of the newsletter. So it won't take you 20 seconds to join. But also, you're going to find my contacts on there. So you're going to find my WhatsApp number. There's my email. So if you want to contact me privately, you're sat there thinking, oh my God, Melvis, <laughs> there's this terrible predicament that I've got. I can't even begin to put those words down here on a YouTube video. But I'm going to message you directly. Please do feel free to do that. And then I'll get back to you with whatever it is that the situation is. So before we get started, obviously... What is your situation right now? Are you currently in the UK looking to switch a visa? Are you considering coming to the UK on a student visa? But most importantly, which course are you considering to study? I've shared videos on here on the courses that guarantee UK visa sponsorship 100%, you know. So if you're coming to this country, you need to be very smart. You need to be very wise. You need to get advice from the right people. You need to make sure that you're doing your research, you know, absolutely amazingly well so that you do not get entrapped when you get here. Because when you're looking at student visas, you know, it's always like the easy option where you don't do much work now, but then you've got all the work still waiting for you later on. That's how I call it. It's like, you're going to do as little as possible now, but actually you still have to do the work later on. So it's like, what is the point? So you need to be very, very strategic with your planning and do not think that there is time because there is no time. By the time you get to the UK on a student visa, for example, and your course is say a year, you think, okay, I'm going to settle in the UK. I'm going to bring my family if you've got any dependents. I'm going to get settled into the course. You've got exams to do. You've got coursework. You've got ACEs. You need to find a part-time job. Before you know it, one year is gone and you're still on that student visa. You haven't even settled and yet you need to transition. So it is that transition that I'm really thinking about in today's video. So um, by the way, if you're watching this and you're wondering who I am, my name is Melvis. I currently work as an advanced nurse practitioner for the NHS here in England. Um, so it's the most senior clinical nursing position. I started also as a carer in a nursing home and then I studied nursing as an international student. So I completely understand 
Um, when it comes to sacrifices, studying in this country, the huge tuition fees that we have to pay. I paid £30,000 to become a nurse. Luckily for me, um, I had a job long before I ever graduated. And I didn't ever for once have any concern as to whether I'll get a job or not. Because I knew that as a nurse, my job will be guaranteed. And the only thing I was concerned about is which specialty should I choose? Which hospital should I choose? Which town should I move to? Those are the things I was thinking about, not whether I'll get a job or or not so in that case obviously i was quite fortunate that i had the right mentorship right from the start i had the guidance that i needed from day one and i seeked um you know i seeked advice from the right people that were able to support me and to mold me into the person that i have become which i'm eternally grateful for those people both family friends relatives people that i don't know and i think that this is what this is the type of thing that we need. So I've got a private career coaching program where I support with all the things I've mentioned in today's video. You're looking to switch your visa, free visa sponsorship opportunities. What are the jobs that are increasing? What do you need for those jobs? How do you position yourself for success? Because again, the, the level of competition is incredibly high. You need to be so good. You need to be outstanding. You need to set yourself apart from the masses and get that interview so you can get that job. If you want to get into healthcare, you know, there are apprenticeships where you don't even need to pay any tuition fees whatsoever in order to study in the UK. So to become a nurse, I can guide you to apply for those apprenticeships. As I speak now, those are currently open for new applicants. If you're part of my private coaching program, um, you know, we've gone through that during our live sessions this week. We go through every week because obviously they're open. Um, but if you're not part of the program yet and you're keen on joining, Check the description box below. You're going to see a link to join. Um, there are different options you explore. If it's something that is for you, I always say my coaching program is only for the top 1%. I do not expect all of you to join. You know what I mean? Um, but it's for those people who are really keen on professional excellence. You're keen on your personal and professional development in the UK. You want to go for the best opportunities that this country brings. You don't want to leave anything to chance. You want to get access to top-notch information that you need, personalized guidance in order for you to succeed, to excel, to thrive, to become the best version of yourself. Because getting to this country, for me, is not an achievement. The achievement is really how you turn the opportunities that there are in your favor so that you know you don't only make a lot of money but you feel satisfied fulfilled that it was worth it coming to this beautiful country so like i've said if you check the description box below you're gonna see a link to that program so when you're looking for jobs you know career progression opportunities you're a nurse back home but now you're working as a carer for example there are pathways that you can work in the uk without art or oec as a nurse, you know, even if you train to overseas. So again, I can guide you with all of that journey, that process, you know, so that you can go back to your nursing or midwifery career, which you rightfully so spent years studying for, um, you know, no disrespect at all working as a carer. But I mean, if you're a qualified nurse, it is rightfully so that you're working as a nurse, not only for how much you're earning, but also for the level of competence and the level of responsibility and accountability, obviously, that you have as a qualified nurse. So if you watch this till now, then yes, that program is 100% going to be perfect for you. Also share this, obviously, video with your loved ones, friends, colleagues, family members, so that they are aware of this information. They can check out other videos that I've shared on here about other opportunities that this country offers so that they are aware you know of what they can do i know that actually there's a lot more out there but it's just about implementation which i always go on about so with the student visa thing you need to be aiming to switch from day one you need to be aiming to switch from the first day and look if you're a dependent you know some people message me and say melvis i'm on a dependent visa so i don't have any restrictions i can do whatever i want so i'm looking for side hustles i'm looking for this what do you think and i'm like well Yes, it's good that you're looking for side hustles, but you also need to be applying for visa sponsorship opportunities. And then they're like, well, no, I don't need to because of my wife, my husband is the main applicant, so I'm free. I'm like, yes, you are. You don't have that academic workload, but you can also apply. So if you have a dependent, you need to work together. You need to work hand in glove in order for the family to succeed and move forward. So you both should be applying for those visa sponsorship jobs. And in fact, I always advise people who are part of my coaching program that your dependent is in the best position to put themselves out there 
you know, because they don't have that academic um, part of it, you know, those restrictions, obviously, in terms of hours. So nothing stops them from doing more. And I've shared extensive videos, detailed videos on this channel about all these different things that I've spoken about and the step-by-step -step process that you also need to take. But I just wanted to make the point that don't always think that you've got time because before you know it, it's going to be a year, it's going to be two years, it's going to be three years. I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, take this opportunity now to hit the subscribe button so that you're aware of all these changes and you're making the most of the best opportunities because that's what it's about. Also, do feel free to message me if you've got any queries, concerns, questions. Um, you know, check the comment section below. You're going to find my contacts on there. And then if you need that personalized guidance, then consider joining my private coaching program, which is in the description box. Check out these other videos that I've linked up specially for you with more opportunities in this beautiful country, the UK. I'll see you 